See this guy behind me? This is a big, big deal. That's the mayor of Taipei. Now, it should be translated governor because it's actually a province, but Taiwan doesn't know English well and they translated it wrong. They call him a mayor, he should be called a governor. He's independent, independent political party. He's been reelected. Uh, I think he spent a year at a medical school in Minnesota. He says that in his talk. I hope you listen to the talk. I'm not going to play from it. I just want you to see what it is. He's talking at the Heritage Foundation. The Taiwanese don't know what a big deal this is uh, to be talking at the Heritage Foundation. This is a very conservative type of a thing that, that he's, he's talking at. The ideas he talks about, I hope you listen to it so you get an idea about what I've been getting used to for the last 10 years. I've, I've watched this guy since, you know, 2014. I've, I've, I watched him run. I've seen his politics. I've watched the, 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 the political fun arguments that, you know, politics can be entertaining sometimes, the things that people argue about, like, you know, Marco Rubio and his bottle of water, you know, like, and, and it doesn't matter. Uh, Lindsey Graham Nisty, you know, became famous for that nickname, but he's really a, a good senator. Like, Politics has their fun stuff. I've been watching that kind of stuff with... Co okay, his name is Ko Wenza. I'll, I'll tell you one of the jokes about him. Okay, this is one of the things. Early in his in his tenure, as we're talking maybe 2015, he was at a city hall meeting or city council meeting. It, it, it's actually like a state legislature meeting. Okay. The mayor is supposed to attend them in order to make them valid. Uh, something like that kind of. And so he's there and people from the, uh, his, his big opposition party, he's independent, but there's one party that kind of likes him a little bit more than the other. So the people that didn't like him were lying about him while he's in the room. And he got mad and just, hmm, hmm, and slammed his fist on the table. And that was it. Oh, they went berserk because the mayor should conduct himself better while we're lying about him. So there came this thing that it's like, wait a minute, you are the ones lying and you don't care about the dishonesty of you lying about him. You're just mad that he slammed his fist on the table. What's really the problem here? So the Taiwanese in their way that they were taking him, pounding his fist on the table and putting it to music. And, you know, like it became this, it, you know, there were virals about this. One, one person uh, photoshopped, uh, maybe we should call it GIMP because I'm about Linux and open source software. Someone <clears throat> used Photoshop to GIMP a, 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 a thermos. They drink out of thermoses all the time. Uh, on the table. So he hit the table and the thermos would bump up and he hit it bump up again. And they put that to music. It just became this thing. And it wasn't making fun of him. It was making fun of the people that were lying about him. Anyhow, um, people love it. Apparently he's got Asperger and that keeps him focused on his his task. It's, it's interesting to watch uh, someone with Asperger function. He's revolutionizing Taiwan. They They love it. They absolutely love it. Um, of, of course, there's an old guard that doesn't like it, but basically what he talks about, I hope you watch the video. He's basically talking about draining the old made in China culture empire. He's draining the swamp. And in his case, it's not so much about trying to get rid of fake Republican, fake Democrat establishment. Let's just crush the people and pretend to be Democrat or Republican when we do it. Uh, stuff. He's basically talking about old emperor China thinking, pretending to be a democracy. And that's the swamp that he's draining. And he's saying, no, we're actually going to do real democracy things. And this is revolutionary. What he's talking about it isn't just normal politics. Like he says, we're really going to do it. And it's really interesting what he did. And it's, I hope you watch it. You'll see the insight, like how they do campaigning. I did a video. It's on From Asia with Love. I think I'm going to link it in the description. Uh, they, like how the politicians campaign. I'll show you a video of it. Like there's a local politician waving at me on the video. Go, go check it out. It's very short. But he didn't do that stuff. So he, he, he even campaigned differently. A, a little bit of a, I don't know, Andrew Jackson was one of the first uh, presidents, not the first president who actually went on a campaign trail 
before that, presidential candidates would stay home and look presidential. And that's how they campaign. Jackson went and talked to people. New idea. This guy had new ways of doing things. Um, the, the, the thing is, the, he's in a culture war. We're, we're talking culture war. And the same old made in China culture that he's up against is the same kind of imperial made in China culture that I'm up against with my residence application. Now, there's a lot to still out on this, but if I don't get the card by today, I probably won't because they rejected it. But this will be day two that they will have been late. And, you know, he, he talks about some of it here. You know, you've got to grow up and be wise. Um, you know, when, when dealing with smaller people, uh, smaller uh, countries, people, countries smaller than yours, you need to be gentle. And when you're dealing with a country that's larger than yours, you need to be wise. And he said he went to Israel, he learned from them, need to be wise, and you also need to be strong. So uh, he's advocating these things. And he also wants communication between Taiwan and China. Realize China is threatening to attack, bomb, invade, strike, destroy, crush until Taiwan does everything China wants every day. And he doesn't want that. He wants communication and he's like, we need respect and I don't tell you what to do and you don't tell me what to do. And that's kind of his posture with that. So at the end, about the last 10, 15 minutes, there's a lot of Chinese. That's kind of the summary of what he says. And he's kind of already said it. Uh, I hope you watch the video and you'll see the, the politics that I've been watching and talking about. One other thing, one other thing. He mentions green stuff and he's not familiar with the controversy about you know, the eco weenies and the tree huggers in America. Uh, when the Taiwanese talk about being green, uh, it's different than America. This is a small little island. Garbage tumbles through the streets and they need to just be clean. So for them, actually, I like their, their quote unquote green policy much better than the stuff being suggested in America. Stuff in America is like, get rid of the air conditioner and be hot and get sick and die if you need to. And let's have government take your house from you. And let's go in debt for the next 500 million years so that we can buy stuff that really won't fix the problem. And my companies will make lots of money. That's kind of what green stuff is about in America, maybe kind of. In Taiwan, it's not like that. It's just... Why are we giving people a new plastic bag for every single bottle of tea that they buy? Tell them to bring their own bag. And so the government requires that you charge a dollar for it, kind of like requiring, uh, you know, like 10 cents on, in Michigan for soda cans or a nickel in a lot of states. So there's, yeah, a Taiwan dollar is worth three cents U.S., um, so he's going to give numbers in NT dollars. It's about 30 to one. So at one billion NT dollars, we're talking 30 million dollars U.S., uh, watch the video. I understand that garbage is a problem in Taiwan. It really is. And so when he says, we cleaned up the environment, it's a different type of a thing. It means, you know, you live in these small little houses, they fill up with trash quick and it really does help. And I'm a conservative Republican who doesn't like the green agenda, but in Taiwan it's different. Okay. Just wanted to be clear about that. I, I hope that you watch this. Um, I hope you pick up that he's talking about being in a culture war. Forgive his Chinglish. Um, he talks like a doctor. A lot of doctors in Taiwan have English like this. And at the end, when he takes questions, he answers in Chinese because he doesn't want to say something wrong with his unrehearsed English. He probably rehearsed this speech uh, for about two weeks with, uh, you know, probably he found some American in one of his offices or something somewhere to rehearse this with. That's just how stuff works over here. Um, this is happening. And the culture war that he's fighting is the same culture war that I'm fighting. Watch my podcast and other videos to find out more about that. Uh, pay attention.